This is Judge Patty Mayo. Both parties have agreed to abide by the judgment handed down today. The winner will be paid by Patty, and the loser will be subject to the resources of the court to collect their debt. Court is now in session. He wants me to learn pole dancing. She did a whack job. I have a, a video, right? The court likes to see the video. Oh. Oh, uh, well, I try to show him. And you're a sh answer. Yes. I know. Do we have a pole? <laughs> That'd be great if we did right now. I mean, I could floor dance. I could show you that. That's a lie. Uh, shut up for a second. Lousy ass. That's what you are. That's why he left you. God f damn it. See how annoying she is? Shut up. I don't care. Court calls Palma versus Red. Defendant Red is in red. Defendant Palma has a witness. Yes, I do. What's your witness's name? Jennifer. Christina is suing Sony for eight hundred dollars in reimbursement for pole dancing classes that failed, to, failed and caused a relationship with her ex-boyfriend to fail, and only caused heartbreak. Sony is countersuing and she's suing her for eight hundred dollars. Sony is countersuing for defamation of character and placing multiple bad Yelp reviews for lost wages due to her forever client's negative outlook on her business. Okay, he's really, the keys? Don't touch any of it, thank you. Okay, Christina, your side of the story. Well, I had a boyfriend who I was madly crazy in love with. He actually became my fiance this past February. He proposed to me and I was like, as a celebration, what's one of your fantasies? He told me, he wants me to learn pole dancing. So I hired her to teach me pole dancing. She did a whack job, so I want a refund because $800 was supposed to teach me eight pole tricks. She only taught me two and a half, and I got hurt. On one of the times that I was going up the pole, I had no problem climbing the pole, but I was trying to do one of the tricks she was showing me. She wasn't even underneath for safety. You should have been wearing lotion. Yeah. Sorry? You should have been wearing lotion. I didn't wear lotion. You put that on there. I have soft skin. I could grab a pole, no problem. I was trying to do the wax pole trick you were trying to show me. Did you have a video? Yes, I do. I have a, a video, right? The court like to see the video? Oh no, it was, yes, she's in a video. I just hurt my ankle because- You have the video of, of you falling on your ankle? No, not me, but of her trying to show- She falls, we're just walking. Mm-mm. first? No, I'll put it in the file. <laughs> I know how to dance, I know how to climb a pole, I know how to climb a rope. Do you know how to be quiet? Oh. <sighs> Terrible, right? This is you teach? I hired her to teach me pole tricks. She couldn't even do that. You mean you couldn't do that? These are the tricks that you were trying to learn? Yeah. She was supposed to be teach me eight. I only got like two and a half because she's a horrible teacher. She was on her phone. You couldn't even get two and a half. Two Don't lie. You didn't, yeah. you, you didn't give those two and a half, honey. Those were... Okay. Because of you. Horrible teacher. Not hearing it. Not hearing it. Not hearing it. Okay. How did it cause your relationship to fail? Oh, uh, well, I tried to show him. Uh-huh. I tried to show him. And you're a shit answer. Huh? Then you're a shit Answer? Yes. No, I'm not yeah. a shit answer. I was with. How many hours did you spend? I got her on. How many? I don't honestly just just take the, f just take the hands down and just stand there and answer the questions normally for me, okay? What's the highest level of education you completed? I'm finishing college right now. Okay, for what? Personal trainer. I already got my certifications. I'm just finishing the health science degree. I lift weights. I compete. Okay. I could climb up anything, no problem. Okay. But you can't dance. So you go see Miss Red and you want Miss Red to make you a pole dancer and because you don't know how to pole dance or you're a bad pole dancer or you want to- No, I have no experience with the pole dancing. None whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, none whatsoever. So how many hours do you spend with Miss Red doing the pole dancing? $800 were supposed to be a total of four classes, 200 per class and it was one hour each. Okay, so four classes and in four hours, what did you learn? I only learned two and a half tricks because she wasn't paying attention. And I told her multiple times, like this doesn't seem like it's right. Okay, so you're unable to learn any tricks in the first class, second class, third class, fourth class. Correct. What happens at the end of the first class, what happens? At the end of the first class, I told her, you know, I think we need to practice more. And she's like, of course, she wants to charge me more. And I told her, no, I already paid for the four class 800. Next class, I want to keep trying it. Okay, you know? so next class, you go, to, you go into the second time, what happens the second day? She wasn't paying attention. She was on her phone. I recorded it too. And I'm like, hello, time is money. I'm a businesswoman, you know? Well, I, yeah, and I am a bull man, and I can smell bull You can smell bull on me or on her? 100% that's a bull 100% that's bull Third day? Third day, I was finally get one. Well, at least that's what she told me. I'm going off what she told me. She Now she's saying I got none of the chicks. When before she told me I had two and a half. So you said you had two and a half. No one said you have two and a half but you. I asked you. That's what you told me. How many did you feel like you had? I went off what she said. She was supposed to be teaching me. She told me two and a half, so I thought I got those. Did you feel like you got better? Did you get any better at pole dancing? Uh, nope. 
through the fourth day, did you get any better? No, those are the only things I got was those two and a half. So you didn't get the extra two days? I did, no, I didn't. So whatever happened to the extra two days? Did you cancel? No, I didn't cancel because I started arguing with her. I told her how I wanted to learn those two. So you wanted to pay her back, you wanted to pay her back for two classes that you didn't even take? Well, I wanted to refund me for the whole thing. So you paid the whole thing up front? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. How many classes did she actually attend? I attended two of the four. Two of the four. But I paid the whole 800. Do we have a poll? <laughs> That'd be great if we did right now. I mean, I could floor dance. I could show you that. <laughs> Sonia, your side of the story. First of all, before I met this woman, I had a five-star rating for the past five years. I've never had a bad rating. After I met this woman, I now have a two-star rating. So she's hurt my business tremendously. Your side of the story in regards to how she performed in class. She was, she has two left feet. She has absolutely no rhythm. I did the best that I could. There are no refunds. She knew that at the beginning. She knew that she had to pay the full, the full amount at the beginning. There were no refunds. So if she misses a class, she still has to pay. She knew that. She understood that. Yeah, she's shaking. You still so understand that. That part I understood, okay. but that's why I was arguing with her because but those two classes, so those first two classes, right. I was supposed to get four, and she couldn't even okay. teach me that. that. Doesn't doesn't that doesn't guarantee you that she's going to teach you something? What's your witness? Say? What is your witness here? Have to say. She had purchased one class, and she attended the one class. We did it separate, and she was saying how how she was such a horrible teacher. I have a bunch of followers. But why? Okay, hold on. Why is she here? When I had went to the class, I went, she taught me one thing, then she walked away, started taking selfies, being giggling at her phone. I don't know who she was messaging. Okay. And half her studio was a complete mess, and I have photos. Okay. And then the second day, and how many how many classes did you? That's a lie. One class. Okay, did you do it before her or after her? I did it before. And you told her about the, the class? I told her about it. Yeah, we, we both got it. Okay, so, so you go ahead and you have this horrible experience. Yeah. Would you classify it as horrible? Absolutely. Okay, the mic is actually on your friend's Here, let's start. <laughs> I had a terrible hamburger. I would like you to go have a hamburger where I had a terrible hamburger. That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, no, that's not how it happened. We were I both. Warned her about yes, her exactly. Food, but she already bought the package and I told Correct. her, get the money back. And then that's she's like, she wanted to try the class. That's how the class was set. Is this, is this how the class was set up when you were there? No, no, no finished flooring. No finished flooring. It was a dangerous setting. What was dangerous about it? They were still doing construction, but you chose to pay me. Who took yeah. these pictures? I did. When? The, the day of the class, when I went there. Your first class? Yes. Okay. Yeah, she only bought one single one. I bought a package. And at that time there were no finished floors? No. Okay, so how'd you take a picture of a building with a finished floor? What do you mean? Make it make sense. It's a finished floor. Yeah. Unfinished well, floor. But the, no, do you do yeah. not? But do you not see the? I see. I, I see. I see unfinished, and then I see a finished floor. I'm just pointing out that you may not remember things as you think you remember things. When we went to pay for the class, obviously there was paper yeah. on the floor. The next time we went, yeah. Yeah. but the ceilings were still sure. completely. You had a shit experience. You tell her to go to this person to have a shit experience. Well, no, we bought the class together. Yeah. We had bought the class together. At the together, same time. But mm -hmm. I went first. I went to the class first. Miss Red, did you not give the them your full attention? I absolutely gave them all my full attention. This, this lady- You've here. been teaching pole dancing for how long? For five years now. Where did you learn how to pole dance? Uh, Self-taught. And do you work professionally anywhere else? I am professional. I also have won contests. What contests have you won? There's a different pole, there's Tampa, they have amateur night, they have, th there's different pole dance, there's different pole, pole dancing Stop. contests. So you go around to pole dancing contests? Yeah, so they different. They have different names, not like everyone has a specific name. Yeah, so and how often do you compete? As often as I don't have customers to okay. teach. How often do you compete? Um, once a month, twice a month, three times a month? Maybe once every, every two months. Okay, so you compete four times a year. And I do very well. I have to point out something. When she came to me, she was homely. I'm talking about little house on the prairie wearing flats. Little miss is wearing heels, honey. You're welcome. You're welcome. I taught her how to do that. I taught you how to, she has, she, she was not wearing heels. I taught you and you're welcome, honey. I should charge you. No. I should charge you for that. Uh, no, I don't buy either of your stories. My story? I was not homely at all. I'm not saying you're homely. I'm not saying, I'm just saying I don't buy your story. That she couldn't teach me? Sure. If she was- Shut up for a second. I talk, I answer you guys your question. Yes, your honor. Thank you. You can't counter sue someone for defamation of character. If she posted a bad, posted a bad Yelp review and you lost wages, that doesn't matter. She, she didn't just, she didn't just, it wasn't one person. It was multiple. Freedom of speech. I love my rights. And there were false and there were lies. There were lies. No, they're not lies. He has the evidence. He saw it. You can't dance and you're a liar. The reason why your man left you is because you can't dance and you're a liar and... If I couldn't dance, I wouldn't be in music. You can't make a man want you. He left you because of you. He didn't leave you because of me. No. Honey, I was teaching you how to work the pole, not work the pole. Lousy ass. 
That's what you are. That's why he left you. We all done? Yes, yeah. You good? The class uh, you thought you were taking. Yeah. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> this is first. Yelp reviews, I mean, that, that's subject to someone's opinion. That's not just one Yelp review. There are, uh, there's at least, at least 100 Yelp reviews. I have a bunch of followers. Like I said, I'm a trainer. I have lost money because of this woman. No f shit. Yeah. It's not the first stripper I worked with. The first, the top one and the bottom one is that what you're looking at? Yeah. Her, we call Christina's claim. She bought the class. You bought the classes. You just deal with how you deal with. If you pick it up, you pick it up. If you don't, if you don't, you just deal with what you get. And you left your bad review. That's 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 your recourse. That'd be like saying if I signed up for a karate class yeah. and couldn't kick your butt next week. Yeah. Because I was bad at karate. Yeah. Well, I was willing to finish the program, but right. she was giving me problems and not to because I, I told her those I first give, two. I give, you, I give you zero dollars on your claim. Uh, Sonia, uh, your account is doing for twelve hundred dollars for. Uh, basically, a uh, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Yeah, mine. Yes. My opinion. Not, those were lies. They were lies. And you didn't. You know, you just. I had a wit. She had her whole family write these no, false no, reviews. No, listen. No, listen. No, listen. Okay. So listen. So you're not going to get your twelve hundred dollars either. I'm also issuing a zero dollar judgment for you, uh, bailiff. Um, can you put Miss uh, Sonia Red in custody, please? For what? What did I do? I'll tell you in one second. Do you have another pair of cuffs? I do. Great. She's going next. Hmm. <laughs> Sit her down. Perfect. Actually, no, stand up. And then put her in cuffs. For me. Yep. Unlawful carry of a weapon for Christina Palmer. Open warrant, Sony Red. Open warrant, harboring a fugitive. Don't come to court when you have a warrant. I told them where he was at. Yeah. I don't know what was mine. You have two options. You can either be taken into custody today. If you decide to surrender today, uh, only make you pay $150 in court costs. If you decide to be bonded, you'll have a separate bond. Your Honor, I'm a bit confused. That? that one's mine or hers? Both. Okay, I'm, yeah, for both of us have a warrant? Yes. Yeah. I'm still confused. You both have warrants. Your, your warrant is for unlaw unlawful carry of a weapon. Do, uh, do, you wish, do you wish to bond or do you want to be taken into custody today? I'm fine with the bond. You're fine with the bond. Okay, so I can, you, you're you able to pay a bond today? Yeah. Sonia, do you want to relinquish yourself into custody today or do you want to be bonded out? I want to be bonded out, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford it because- Okay, so you're gonna bond you out as well, but you can't afford it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford it. I like, what is my- What's bonds gonna be for her for harboring a fugitive? Uh, that's normally 500. Sonia, $500, $500 bond on that. Oh, I can handle 500. How much can you pay today? I can pay 150. God f damn it. Depends on the enhancers. How much can you afford to pay? What was it again? How much can you afford to bond? I could probably do about the same. I mean, I had to get a sitter for tonight. She's wasting my- Shut up, I don't care. That's one question. Just a number all I needed. Great, you can do the same. See how annoying she is? Yeah, you both are. Five hundred dollars bond for each uh, each person and secured on $150 cash today and you'll be released. So go with bail that way and on your way. And you get nothing for your judgment. Case is missed. Next time on Judge Patty Mayo. Did she drive your vehicle often? She knows she shouldn't be driving my car. No, I do not agree. Okay, so you have this black Mercedes. Crammed. Crunched. His homeboy was driving his car. Alfonso Brown scratched out <laughs> Demetrius Smith. Open and shut case, Your Honor. I appreciate you. Because I have two baby daddies. No, look at the other seat I gave you. What job do you have? You live with me. I don't live with you. I wouldn't want to live with you. Look at you, like I said. She stole, stole $1,000 out of my bank account. He has the proof. I gave him.